sa video na ito, it is because our next topic is about sound. So, panoorin hanggang dulo and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Shout out to Grade 8, Nara, Apitong, Mahogany, and Kamagong. Mag-aral kayo mabuti. transfer of energy to the creation of tunes and music for entertainment. Most of our gadgets are sound embedded to amuse us. In the field of geology and oceanography, sound is used to determine depth. The health sciences are also using sound for medical purposes. Some animals are dependent on sound for movement. The newest focus of sound science is on ecology where ecological patterns and phenomena are predicted based on sounds released by the different components of the ecosystem. So, are you ready to have fun with sounds? In this video lesson, you will learn the effect of temperature to the speed of sound. Sounds are caused by vibrations referring to the back and forth movement of the objects. As you speak, vibrations are produced by the vocal cords inside the trough. You can hear the vibrations when sound waves reach your ear. When an object vibrates, it creates sound energy. Sound energy travels in the form of sound waves. These waves are examples of longitudinal waves where the vibrations are parallel to the direction of the wave. They are also known as mechanical waves since sound waves need a medium in order to propagate. The mechanical vibrations that can be interpreted as sound can travel through all forms of matter such as solid, liquids, and gas. The matter that supports the sound is called the medium. Sound cannot travel through a vacuum. The speed of sound can be affected by elasticity. It is the ability of a material to return to its original form after a certain amount of force has been applied to it. Elastic properties are different for different materials. Sound can travel faster in mediums with higher elastic properties than it can through solids like rubber which have lower elastic elastic properties. Solids are the most elastic, followed by liquids, and then by gases. An example of an elastic material is steel. Steel has the ability to return to its original shape after it has been bent. Sound travels faster within more elastic objects. This is due to the atoms and molecules of the elastic materials having a relatively strong attraction towards each other and responding faster to each other's movement. As a result, 
sound energy is transferred more quickly. Next is density. Density is an intrinsic property that is determined by the amount of mass per area of space or volume of material. Denser objects have more mass per volume and they have more compact atoms and molecules. If a material is more dense because its molecules are larger, it will transmit sound slower. Next is the effect of temperature to the speed of sound. Temperature is also a condition that affects the speed of sound. Heat, like sound, is a form of kinetic energy. Molecules at higher temperatures have more energy. Thus, they can vibrate faster. Since the molecules vibrate faster, sound waves can travel more quickly. Properties of sound Reflection is one of the property of sound. Reflection is described as the turning back of the wave as it hits a barrier. So, pag, um, yung sound ay tumama sa isang barrier like the wall or pader, nagbabounce back ito. So, that is uh, called as the reflection of sound. Echo happens when sound waves hit a hard surface they might reflect, making the sound bounce and repeat. Echo is called alingaungao in Filipino. Reverberation are multiple reflections of echoes in a certain place. So, just like any other wave, sound also exhibits reflection. Reflection is usually described as the turning back of a wave as it hits a barrier. So again, echo is an example of a reflected sound. Reverberation, on the other hand, refers to the multiple reflections or echoes in a certain place. A reverberation often occurs in a small room with height, width, and length dimensions of approximately 17 meters or less. This best fits the bathroom which enhances the voice. A lot of people love to sing inside the bathroom because of privacy. A study conducted noted that people would open their mouths wide when they sing in private places like the bats. Other reason is the hard wall surfaces of the bathroom usually made of wood or tiles, brings about multiple reflections of sound. These hard walls or surfaces and the small dimension of the bathroom typically create an aurally pleasing acoustic environment with many echoes and reverberations contributing to the fullness and depth of voice. Well, this may not be the effect in the outside world though. Medyo kasi di ba nakakahiya pag kumakanta tayo at maraming nakikinig or maraming nanonood para ang hirap ibukan ng mga bibig natin pag tayo ay kumakanta at maraming taong nakakakita. So, iba pa rin pag kumakanta tayo sa loob ng CR. Next is an ultrasound. Ultrasound works on the principle of, re of reflection of sound waves. An ultrasound scan uses high-frequency sound waves to create images of the inside of the body. 
it is suitable for use during pregnancy. So, madalas natin nababalitaan na ang um, nagpapa-ultrasound ay yung mga buntis. Ultrasound scans or sonography are safe because they use sound waves or echoes to make an image instead of radiation. Ultrasound scans are used to evaluate fetal development and they can detect problems in the liver, heart, kidney, or abdomen. They may also assist in performing certain types of biopsy. So, napaka-helpful ng uh, ultrasound using sound waves in the field of medicine. Next is um, in theaters sa loob ng mga sinihan. So, in theaters and movie houses, there are also reverberations and echoes. But, the, but these are not pleasing to the ears during a play or a movie. So, yung, yung reflection of sound pag nasa loob ng sinihan, medyo hindi siya uh, masarap pakinggan, masakit siya sa tenga. Alam niyo yung pag um, feedback yung mic. Masakit sa tenga yung tunog niya. To lessen this, designers use curtains and cloth cover for the chairs and carpets. Now you can check out the different movie houses and look for features inside that decreases reverberations and echoes. So ngayon, open na yata yung mga cinemas but then you have to bear in mind that uh, minors are still not allowed to go out. So we have to stay home. Next is in terms of uh, echo location or echo sounding. Echo location is the use of sound waves and echoes to determine where objects are in space. Bats use echo location to navigate and find food in the dark. To echolocate, bats send out sound waves from the mouth or nose. When the sound waves hit an object, they produce echoes. So, nagbabounce back. Kaya na detect nila kung nasaan yung pagkain or kung may tatamaan ba silang object or kung may object ba na nasa unahan nila. Aside from bats, um, Dolphins also uses this uh, echo location. Next is uh, echo sounding is another application of sound reflection. This is used by scientists to map the seafloor and to determine the depth of the ocean or sea. This is just the same as how bats use sound to detect distances. So, sonar or sound navigation ranging is a technique that uses sound propagation, usually underwater as in submarine navigation, to navigate, communicate with, or detect objects on or under the surface of the water, such as other vessels. The term sonar is also used for the equipment used to generate and receive sound. Next is refraction. Have you ever wondered why open field concerts are usually held during nighttime? Bakit kaya sa gabi ginagawa yung mga concerts? Having concert at night gives a chance for everyone to see and enjoy the live show because there is no work and no school. Pero hindi na ngayon because of COVID-19. Sound also contributes to this scheduling of concerts. So yung sound ay bigyan na lamang kung bakit may mga concerts kadalasan ginagawa sa gabi. Usually, Sound is heard better in far areas during night time than during daytime. This happens due to what is known as 
refraction. Refraction is described as the change in speed of sound when it counters a medium of different density. As what you have learned earlier, sound travels faster in hotter media. This change in speed of sound during refraction is also manifested as sort of bending of sound waves. So when we say refraction, it involves a change in the direction of waves as they pass from one medium to another. So kung si reflection ay nagbabounce back yung sound, si refraction naman yung sound ay nagbabago ng direction as they pass from one medium to another. Sound waves travel slower in cooler air than in warmer air. So, mas mabilis mag-travel ang sound kapag mainit yung hangin. At mabagal ito kapag malamig yung hangin. When a sound wave propagates in the air with temperature which changes with altitude, refraction happens. Okay, let's analyze this picture. Remember that a sound wave travels from air of higher temperature to lower temperature. So, this is the sound wave refraction during daytime and nighttime. At daytime, when the sun is shining, the air near Earth's surface is cooler than the air above. Since Earth's surface is cooler than air above during daytime, the sound would move from the cooler region, that's the Earth's surface, towards the hotter air above. So, yung surface ay mas malamig, kaya mag-travel yung air papunta dun sa warmer region. Thus, sound waves will be refracted to the sky. While during nighttime, the air near the Earth's surface is heated by the heat emitted by the ground, making it hotter than the air above, which is cooler due to the absence of the sun during nighttime. This makes sound move from cooler air above towards the hotter air near the Earth's surface. Thus, sound waves are refracted to the Earth's surface. So, balik na naman yung nangyayari pag nighttime. So, from uh, from the warmer region, sound travels faster. And then, the, the cooler, in the cooler region, sound travels slower. Kaya nagkakaroon ng bending of sound. This makes open field concerts better done during nighttime as sound waves are refracted from the stage towards the audience. This gives a clearer and more audible music to enjoy. So, yun na nga yung reason kung bakit uh, ang concerts ay mas ginagawa sa gabi pag ito ay sa open field. Pero pag mga enclosed area naman, Pwede na itong gawin any time of the day. Next, let us calculate the speed of sound. The speed of sound in dry air, which is at 0 degrees Celsius, is around 331 meter per second. The speed of sound increases by 0.60 meter per second with every increase of 1 degree Celsius. This can be expressed as velocity or the speed of sound is equal to 331 meter per second plus 0.6 meter per second divided by temperature or degree Celsius times time where velocity is equal to speed and T is equal to temperature in degree Celsius. Okay, this time let us compute for the speed of sound. 
What is the speed of sound in the air if the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius? Remember that in solving word problems, uh, in, in our previous uh, lessons, when there is computation, we use the mnemonics GAFSA. G for given, A for what is asked, F for formula, S for solution, and A for answer. In this word problem, uh, the given is the temperature of uh, the air, which is 30 degrees Celsius. What is asked is we have to compute for the speed of sound in the air. The formula that we have to use, it's, it is already given. It was previously discussed. So it is flash on the screen. Then for the solution, we have to substi substitute the given value of temperature and simplify. So you have 331 meter per second plus you have... Uh, 0 0.6 meter per second divided by degree Celsius times 30 degree Celsius. So, we have to multiply 30 and point zero, uh, 0 0.6. So, that is 30 times 0 0.6. So, you will have uh, to cancel the units. So the cancellation of units, so you have will cancel degree Celsius and degree Celsius. Then add the product to 331. That is 18 plus 331. So, literate 30 times 0 0.6, you have 18. 18 plus 331, then you have 349. The unit that we will use is meter per second. Since it is addition, we will just copy. Magkamukha naman yung unit, so copy meter per second. So, the speed of sound in air at 30 degrees Celsius is approximately 349 meter per second. So, kayo na kayo mag-solve. So, let's find out what will happen to the speed of sound if the temperature decreases. So, kanina 30 degrees Celsius. So, ngayon ay 25 degree Celsius. So, tandaan natin yung sagot natin kanina. That is, yun nga natin, 349 at 30 degree Celsius. So, for our next problem, what is the speed of sound if the air uh, what, what is the speed of sound in the air if the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius? So, mas mababa siya by, by 5 degrees Celsius. So, the given in this word problem is the temperature which is 25 degrees Celsius. What is asked? So, again, we have to compute for the speed of sound. The formula, it is always given. So, I'll flash it on the screen. And then the solution, so substitute the given value of temperature that is 25 degrees Celsius and then simplify. So you have 331 plus, uh, wala itong vina ito. Just don't mind this one. 0 0.6 meter per second divided by degrees Celsius times 25 degrees Celsius. Multiply 25 times 0 0.6 and then cancel the units. Add the product to, to 331. So the product is 15. So nakuha yung 15. 25 times point 0 0.6 is 15. 15 plus 331 is 346. So, pakipansin nyo yun. Kanina, dun sa given natin, ang temperature natin ay 30 degree Celsius. Now, on this problem, our temperature is 25 degree Celsius. Pag ang temperature ng hangin ay 30 degree Celsius, ang speed ng sound is 349. While if the temperature of the air is 25 degrees Celsius, 
the temperature I mean, the speed of sound is 346 therefore based on this computation we can conclude that sound travels faster if the temperature is warmer mas mabilis mag-travel yung sound kapag mas mainit yung kanyang media or kung saan siya nagta-travel be it solid liquid or gas question okay the speed of sound in air at 25 degrees Celsius is approximately 346 meter per second. So again, pakitandaan, mas mabilis mo travel yung sound sa mas warmer na temperature. Next, okay. at this point, let us compute for the temperature of air. Our given problem is, what is the temperature of air if the speed of sound is 346 meter per second? So again, we will follow the uh, mnemonics GAPSA uh, for the given in this problem, the velocity or the speed of sound is 30, 346 meters per second. The temperature of air is the one that we have to compute. The formula, we will use this base formula. And for the solution, we will substitute the given speed or the given velocity that is 346. So, uh, that is um, 346 is equal to 331 meter per second plus 0 0.6 meter per second divided by degrees Celsius times time. So, we will combine the quantities with the same unit. So, um, 346 meter per second minus 331 is equal to... 0 0.6 meter per second divided by degree Celsius times time. So, 346 minus 331 is equal to 15. So, again, subtract nyo lang tong dalawa na to. Yan yung uh, given velocity. Ito kasi yung nasa problem. Yan yung, yung velocity of uh, the uh, ng speed and then uh, so, subtract na lang siya, 346 minus 331, so you have 15. Then, copyin lang to. Then, simplify. 15 divided by 0.6. So, you have 15 divided by 0 0.6. And then, we will cancel the units. So, may magkamukha tayo yung unit, kakancel lang natin si... Um, meter per second, meter per second. So, ang matitira natin is the unit of temperature and that is the one that we are computing. So, the answer is 25 degree Celsius. So, kinapi lang natin yung velocity dito. So, subtract lang natin 346 minus 331. So, you have 15 meter per second. Then, the divide natin siya, 15 meter per second, divided by 0 0.6 meter per second, divided by degree Celsius. Kinancel natin the long meter per second. That's why you have 25 degree Celsius. So, the temperature of the air is at 25 degree Celsius. So, di ba tama yung compute natin kanina? If the temperature of air is 25 degree Celsius, the speed of sound is 346 meter per second. Okay, let's check your understanding. Question number one. Which factor does not affect the speed of sound? A. Density B. Distance C. Elasticity and D. Temperature So, merong isa dyan na hindi naman na-mention sa video lesson natin. Ito yung hindi nakaka-affect sa speed ng sound. What is your answer? If your answer is letter B, then your answer is correct. Number two. Which of the following is true about the effect of air temperature on the speed of sound? A. The lower the temperature, the faster the sound, the speed, I mean. Letter B. The higher the temperature, the faster the speed. Letter C. The higher the temperature, the slower the speed. And letter D, the temperature does not affect the speed of sound. The timer starts now. I think I answered your correct answer. 
Okay, time's up. The answer is letter B. The higher the temperature, the faster the speed. Diba, nag-compute pa nga tayo kanina? So, yung kinumpute natin kanina, pag ang temperature ay 30 degrees Celsius, ang speed ng sound ay 349 meter per second. Whereas, if the speed of, uh, or if the temperature of air is 346, uh, I mean 25 degrees Celsius, I'm sorry, uh, the speed of sound is 346. So, mas mabilis yung speed kapag mas warmer yung temperature. Number three, Concerts usually take place during nighttime where everyone has a chance to see and to enjoy the live show. Why does sound contribute to the concert schedule? So, ito ay na-mention na kanina kung nakinig kayo. A. Sound is more audible at night due to minimal noise. B. Sound propagates faster in air at night than at daytime. C. Sound is heard well in far areas during nighttime than during daytime. And letter D. Sound changes and refracts when it encounters a medium of different density. So, medyo tricky yung mga choices. Okay, time's up. So, for number 3, the answer is letter D. So, tama naman si A na mas naririnig nga natin sa gabi kasi tahimik. Yung letter B, mas madaling ipropagate uh, yung sound. Uh, kapag night time, mas madali ding naririnig yung sound kapag gabi. However, dun tayo sa main reason, sa mismong concept na inaral natin ngayon. And the one of the property of sound is refraction, wherein sound uh, bends, nagbe-bend yung sound once that it encounters a medium na different yung temperature niya. Okay, number four, which is quieter, a room with hanging curtains or one with bare concrete walls? Why? Alin ba yung mas tahimig? Yung uh, kwarto na mayroong mga kortina o yung mga kwarto na bare lang ang wall? A. Both rooms have the tendency to be peaceful and to be quiet depending on the location. Letter B. It is quieter in a room with concrete walls because sound travels faster in medium with the higher elastic property at the molecular level. C. It is quieter in a room with curtains because the bare concrete wall brings about multiple reflections of sound. And letter D, it is quieter in a room with bare walls because hanging curtains enhance the effect of sound reverberation. So, tingnan nga natin kung makukuha niyo yung tamang sagot kung nakimig kayo kanina. Saan mas tahimik? Sa kwarto may kutina? Or sa kwarto na bare lang yung wall kung concrete walls lang siya wala siyang kontina okay, nakapili na ba ng sagot? alright for number 4, the answer is letter D mas tahimik sa kwarto may kortina kasi pag bare lang yung concrete walls nagkakaroon tayo ng multiple reflections of sound or reverberation and number five when a boy yells his name inside a cave the sound reflects off the walls of the cave and travels back to his ears what do you call the reflected sound pag nasa kweba kayo at sinigaw niyo yung pangalan ninyo nagkakaroon ng multiple reflection ng sound anong tawag natin doon a density b echo C. Echolocation D. Refraction Nakakaroon ng reflection ng sound Ganda rin ang sagot, diba? Okay, the answer is letter B Very good Hope that you have learned the effect of temperature to the speed of sound See you again next time for our next video lesson Goodbye everyone and Hamsam nida Have a good day